Hey, Blender enthusiasts! Today, we're diving into the world of 3D modeling with a fun and cute project, creating an adorable keyboard in Blender. Start by clicking on the cube, and let's get a fresh perspective by hitting numpad 3 for a side view. Press S to scale along the z-axis, shaping our cube into the foundation of our cute keyboard. Switch to numpad 7, then S again along the x-axis with a value of 2.5 to create the keyboard's base. Toggle to edit mode with tab, switch to face select, and then back to object mode to control plus A and apply the scale. Back in edit mode, select the top part of the keyboard and hit I, this is where the magic happens. After that, press E to extrude, creating the delightful key recess. Introduce a bevel modifier with an amount of 0.08 and 2 segments for that extra smoothness. Right-click and shade smooth for that polished look. Now, shift plus uh to add a mesh cube and scale it down. This will be our keycap. Move it up along the z-axis using G, tab into edit mode, select the top face, and S to resize, crafting the keycap's shape. Back in object mode, control plus 2 to add a subdivision surface modifier, lending that perfect touch. Tab into edit mode, hit control plus R for edge slide. Back in object mode, right click, and shade smooth. Numpad 7 for a top view, G to place our ESC key at the top left, making it stand out. S to resize, achieving the desired dimensions. In a numpad one of you, use toggle x-ray and G with a Z to position it accurately. Turn off toggle x-ray. Switch to numpad 7 view and press shift plus D to duplicate the keycap. Move it next to the first key for F1. Add an array modifier, set count to 12 for the entire row of keys. Duplicate the first key with a shift plus D and place it near the top right corner for backspace. In edit mode, with a alt held, select the edge and press X to dissolve edges. Turn on a toggle X-ray, select half of the key, and use G along the X-axis to create the backspace shape. Then use Ctrl plus R for edge slide and position two slides. Turn off toggle X-ray. Repeat this process for all the keys. Switch to Material Preview Mode by clicking on the respective icon in the top right corner of the viewport. Now, click on your keyboard to select it. Create a new material, and let's choose a delightful color. For my keys, I went with a tofu shade and set the roughness to a cozy 0.3. Hold down the Shift key and select a few keycaps. Add a pop of color, I went with a bright pink. Click the small arrow and select Copy Materials to select it, keeping the roughness at a playful 0.3 as well. Repeat the process for the blue and tofu colored keycaps. Feel free to experiment with different shades, after all, it's all about expressing your unique style. Now, let's create a background. Press Shift plus A to add a new mesh, then choose Plane. Scale it up by pressing yes. Click on the plane, then hold a shift and click on one of the pink keycaps. Click the small arrow and select copy materials to select it. Then add a new material adjust the roughness to 0.6 for a subtle difference. 
we've successfully added materials and textures to our keyboard and background. Switch to the Cycles rendering engine for more realistic lighting effects. Set the render samples to 400 for a smoother final image. Adjust the viewport samples to 100. Set the resolution format to 1400 by 1400 pixels for a clear and detailed result. Press numpad 0 to enter the camera view. Switch to orthographic mode for a flat, stylized look. Set the orthographic scale to 5. Transform the point light into a sunlight with an intensity set to 4. Adjust the angle of the sunlight to 9 for a specific direction of light. Introduce an area light, positioning it towards the keyboard and setting its strength to 1000 watts. Switch to numpad 7 for a top-down view. Adjust the size of the area light to 3 for softer shadows. Move the area light to a desired location using the G key. Duplicate the area light, shift plus D, and place it elsewhere. Customize the color of both area lights. Switch back to numpad 0 for the camera view. Change the background color to blue. Set the world background to a light blue shade. Under the render settings, choose the filmic color profile and medium contrast for a visually appealing output. Conclude by explaining that the scene is ready for rendering. Press the render button, and voila, your adorable keyboard model is ready to be showcased.